In this video, we're playing Hunter Call of the Wild and we're doing the cheap versus expensive bow challenge. To start off, we're in here in the store and we're gonna be going to the bows and seeing which one's the most expensive and which one's the cheapest. These right here happen to be some long bows, basically Indian bows. They're free, so they're probably gonna be the cheapest. Now let's just see the most expensive. Here's one that's 6,000, here's one that's 6,000, but then we also get these which are technically free, but they came with a DLC. But this one does cost the most, but I don't have that much money. I'm gonna be honest with you. This one's the next closest thing. We're using it. So that's gonna be this Alexander Indian bow. And I'm gonna be using the Crotch Tech Orphis. Something like that. And then right here, looks like we've got our arrows ready. And then there's one last thing I wanna be sure that I add, and it is this right here. It's gonna be the range finding bow sight. That is really what makes this a super expensive bow. Got a bunch of calls, let's get out there. Now just looking at the long bow, it's pretty simple. It's a stick, string, and an arrow. And as for sights, that's up to you to figure out. You gotta figure out how much you gotta hold over. There's no way to really aim for this thing. You just have to know, which is really actually hard. With the most expensive bow, it's completely different. You can see we got the bow, the string, we got a sight, peep sight, we got a rest down there, a stabilizer. And whenever you draw back and look down this side, not only do you get a red dot, which is set for 40, but whenever you press the zero button, it actually picks out wherever you was, zeros, and gives you a green dot on where you need to hold. And you can see right here, I'm stinking shooting out to 113 yards right here. And that's pretty actually insane. Now, of course, if you go out to a super long distance, it just says it's too far. So I'll be honest, guys, a hundred something yards out of a bow, I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. And we're going to make that happen in this video. Let's see up here. We got a black bear giving us a warning call. He already knows we're here, but if he's close enough within a hundred yards, we can literally pull out this expensive bow and shoot him even though he knows we're here. Something that we probably couldn't do with the Indian bow. Oh, 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 oh. There's something. Did y'all see that? There was something. Oh, yeah, that's the bear. Uh, it says it's too far. What if I sneak in or just sprint in? That We'll try that. Yeah, that's just too far. It's just too far. I say we stop running around and let's try to actually get something a little closer. We'll start off with the nice bow. 162 yards I could shoot something. That is literally insane. Hold up. Wait a minute. I think that bear might have just sat down. Oh, he sat down. He's resting. He's 180 yards. We can definitely get him. We're just going to have to crawl up to him. And if we crawl close enough, we might even just use the traditional bow, the cheap bow, the Indian bow. But due to our wind, we're going to go down here, down the hill, around these trees and work our way back up. Hold up. Hold up. There's a deer, there's a deer. No, it just ran away. It was a big horn, big horn sheep. I think we're getting a little too excited with this video, okay? We need to slow it down and actually start hunting. So I'm gonna go ahead and creep up a little bit closer to that bear. And then I'm pretty sure we're about to make something happen with the ninja bow or the Indian bow or the traditional bow or the long bow or the recurve bow. It has a lot of names, believe it or not. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That thing just ran in front of me. Here's the thing though. I might still be able to kill it. Oh man, I missed it. Okay, okay. Just because you have a super expensive bow and a special range finding sight doesn't mean that I'm any more accurate on this stinking controller. I can't hit anything with this. I really can't. But here's the good thing about bows in general. I just shot that arrow and guess who didn't know anything about it? The bear that we're trying to sneak up on right now. Now technically, I could probably smoke this thing right now. I could probably kill this thing with the compound. But let's get a little bit closer and see what we can do. He's in a weird spot and I don't know if I'm going to really be able to get to him with the traditional bow unless one thing happens. I pull out a call and I make it happen. But I don't have a call for a bear. I don't know man. I might just have to make it work. How about this? First animal we try a hundred yard shot with the stinking black bear. 97 yards. I hit him for sure. What's he doing though? Did it did he run or did I drop it? I mean there's a chance bows penetrate really well So there's a pretty good chance It could have went straight through and went straight to his heart if that's the case It's gonna be pretty hard to argue with the most expensive bow if from a hundred yards away I just silently heart shot a bear. Okay, it's gonna be pretty hard to argue with that And he I literally dropped him. He's laying right there. It that's hard to argue with even with a rifle You can't do any better than that double lung and heart how does that even work? I hit everything. I hit everything in him. Her. And got a thousand bucks for it. And I'm pretty sure I retrieved my arrow. Now we got this mule deer. See, it knows where we are. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much. But I might be able to pull out this deer call. Might be able to draw him in. 
See, it's stinking coming our way. It wants to come in. If I can call this one in, keyword, if I can call this one in, I want to try to kill this one with the with the ninja bow, with the really cheap one. But here's the thing, just like what you could imagine, if you're going to kill something with the ninja bow, you need it to be pretty dang close. But by the end of this episode, we're going to be stretching this thing out to see just how far I actually can kill something with the ninja bow. As long as we can stay inside of this tree, I think this buck's going to come right to us. Dude, this deer is right on top of me. Hold up, that's a doe. Oh, dang, man. That is not what we're looking for. Here's a good thing about bows, though. Hello, goodbye. I'm going to kill that one. And these other deer don't know what happened. They don't know what happened. Now, that's the one we want. But I'm going to have to hit the call a little bit. Like, I feel I'm pretty sure I can probably kill every single one of these deer with this bow. And I don't think they're going to know the difference. Like, I'm, I'm serious. I, I think I can probably kill this entire pack. And I don't think they're going to run away unless they go downwind, which is what they're doing. I want the buck, though. Oh, the good buck's coming in. The good buck's actually coming in. I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Oh man, bad shot, bad shot. Was that a bad shot or was it not? Aw oh, man, I feel like I messed up. Yeah, it's not going down. Dang it, man. I gotta get a little more accurate with this thing. I can't believe that I just did that. The difference is that I had to guess where I was aiming, where on this thing, let me see if this one's a buck. It is not. On this one, I can just be like, all right, there you are, goodbye. I wanna see where I hit this up for this first one with the trad bow. I know I got a pretty decent hit, but sometimes if you hit them just right, they go straight down. I got a lung, really close to the heart. So that one was a pretty perfect shot. This one we know was a pretty perfect shot. Hit it in the heart and lung, and it went down. But as for that buck, I really don't know where it went. And if we're gonna be honest, I don't know if that deer died. It wasn't looking good, I'll just say that. Anyways, we're moving locations. I know y'all like to know where I'm hunting at, that way you can go to your map and hunt. So I'm up hunting up here. But now we're switching locations. We're gonna go right down here to this pond. <laughs> Guys, guys, check this out, check this out. I looked over there under the canyon wall and we have all kinds of different, the bighorn sheep. Listen, hear me out. I'm gonna go up here on this cliff and I'm gonna shoot down like a real Indian. Is that not the coolest thing we've ever done? Dude, if, if this works out the way I want it to, this is gonna be the coolest thing we've ever did on the channel. And as of right now, I don't know if we're using the long bow or the expensive bow. I know that with the expensive bow, whatever we shoot at is going Going to die. But I also know we've barely only killed one animal with the cheap bow so far, and we kind of need to even it out here. I will say this though the range finding bow sight is it cheating? Is it cheating? I mean, because you can, can, we can do some pretty insane stuff right here. We don't even need a range finder. Is it cheating? I mean, I know people in real life that use this sight. It's a real thing, by the way. It's a real sight. It's not cheap, but I do know people use it and use it effectively. Is it cheating? I don't really think anything's cheating. It definitely makes hunting a whole lot easier. We're gonna get up to this cliff and we're just gonna be shooting straight down. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, there's a buck. Oh, oh. Gosh, that's a good one too. Oh, he's attentive? What are you attentive for? You shouldn't be able to see me on top of a cliff. Now it's calm. These are just sheep, but that's what we actually want. Attentive. Oh no, he keeps going attentive. It's like he knows I'm here, but he shouldn't. My wind is blowing towards him. Ah, in real life, it wouldn't be like this. It's still coming in 101 yards away. What I can definitely say, he's running. Where is he running to? Okay, he's gonna go right there and start drinking. This is a big risk, but am I gonna crawl down the, this rock cliff right now? I'm risking it for the biscuit. I will say that it's alert. Stinking alert. I'm killing this thing. He's about to run. Jamal, if you don't get out of my way. 72 yards, take it. At some point, we're going to have to use the cheap bow because I've been just laying down animals with this bow right here. And for good reason, too, okay? It works. It works. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. No. <sighs> That was a good buck. I really wanted to get that buck. No, I'm not respawning there. I'm going somewhere else. Not only are we leaving, but we're leaving the whole stinking reserve and we're going up to the Yukon. All the way up in Alaska. <laughs> If I'm going to get some kills with the cheap bow, guys, this is the place to do it. We're on the Yukon Valley. Right now, I'm just uh, coming over here to a pond, and I'm going to look for a moose, 
a bison, something big that I can sneak up on pretty easy. Right there goes a stinking moose. I can probably call a moose into me, but if I can find a bison, I can probably sneak right up on them. There's a moose, there's a moose, there's a moose, but there's no boy mooses. Or that's a boy moose, but it's a spike. I ain't shooting that. Oh snap, what is that? Oh, it's rock, Never mind. But for real though, I do feel like if we're gonna get some kills, we're gonna have to sneak right up on some bison. Cause bison are big targets and they are easy to hit. Guys, 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 look, look, look. It's stinking massive. It's a bull, it's an elk. That's not an elk, I'm sorry. It's a moose, it's a moose. Hurry, 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 pull out the moose call. I don't have a stinking moose call. Swap that out for a stinking jackrabbit call. I don't care. Moose call, moose call. Can I call them across the water? Uh... I'll be lucky if I don't get stinking run over right now. If you see a moose coming in from behind me, moose call. Did y'all hear that though? One just went oh, back to me. We got one coming in from the stinking side. I didn't even look at the wind direction. Jeez, what if I can hide behind the outhouse and kill a moose? Will that not be so funny and epic? That's one thing about moose. They are not shy. If I literally take cover behind this outhouse, I might get one to walk right down the road and shoot it. Dude, they're all over me. There's a moose down here too. Put your hands down, I can't see nothing. Oh gosh, there it comes, there it comes. Y'all see that? Y'all see him? Straight shot, dude. Oh gosh. That's a good one. That's not the same one we seen. I'm gonna have to move this way to get out of his wind, or I'm gonna have to move that way. Good golly. He is big, dude. He's attentive? How are you attentive? How is everything seeing me right now? Dude, I got these moose going crazy right now. Wait a minute. Is it gonna come through the water? I need to just get down. That moose knows I'm here. Here, hit the call, hit the call. Uh -huh. Jeez, man, we're gonna get stinky, get eaten by a moose. My calling is just too good right now. There's that one. That's not the one we're looking at. Oh my gosh, look at that poor thing. We don't even want him. Guys, I think that this moose is closer than we think. Hey Jamal, let me tell you a secret. You better sit your butt down right now. Sit down. That's him right there. We're just gonna have to call to him and be patient. This is a big moose, and he's gonna come walking straight down here. <laughs> This is gonna be the perfect opportunity for the cheap Indian bow. And you know what else is cheap? <laughs> These new hats available at KimberGreyWarner.com slash shop and they get even cheaper when you use promo code GAMING10 at checkout. Plus we got a lot of different colors. Check them out. Don't forget that promo code. I tell you what this game needs. I've been waiting for the Heavy Weapons DLC pack for a long time, but we also need a thermal drone to send that thing up into the sky and it fly over there and see where the moose is because I don't know where the moose is. I don't think I spooked him, but did I? We're just gonna start creeping that way, dude. I got, we can't wait all day. We have to find this guy. Is that him? 300 yards away, you think that's him? There's a lot of moose in these woods, but is that the moose? We're going after? Is he really 200 yards away on top of the mountain? We're gonna try to get up on this moose, ma'am. This is a big, big moose. Guys, we found him. We found him. Jamal, I'm gonna need you to uh, lay down. That way I don't actually accidentally shoot you in the face. He's coming though. I don't know if it's the big one though. I just don't know if it's the big one. I'm going prone. The good thing about going prone is I can stop and he can't see me. He's right over here though. I really do want to get better with this Indian bow because let me take a break right here and let me just go into this and show you what makes the traditional bow, the Indian bow, the ninja bow, the recurve bow. You get the point. Let me show you what makes it so good. All right, maybe I'll tell you in a second. Oh, he's aggressive now. Now he's aggressive. We got the stinking biggest moose in the woods aggressive. <sighs> no, he's gonna kill me. You better not kill me. <laughs> got you there, bud. Are you dying yet? Are you gonna die? You're not gonna die? Come on, man, don't die. Don't die for this. There, you gotta die there. That's a hard shot. I'm not gonna get full credit. Dude, oh. this is, ah! You're gonna try to kill my dog. Ah! Dude, oh, he's stinking down. What even was that? I'm not gonna get full credit because I shot him three times, but I don't know, he just wasn't dying. He wasn't dying. Look at me, he didn't even reload an arrow. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. This moose almost killed me, and I feel like that would, oh, oh. 
Would it have been a diamond? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The first shot. Oh, I missed him. Second shot. Barely missed him. Third shot. Third shot was a good shot. Oh, he would have been a gold. He wouldn't have been a diamond, but he would have been a gold if I hadn't have messed up these two. Improper ammo. Dude, what? Oh, I was using the deer arrows. I was using the deer arrows instead of the moose arrows. Ah, well, it's okay. It's okay. That was pretty good though. Let's do something crazy. We're switching maps again and I'm going somewhere pretty special. We're going down south. When we come into the gun cabinet, we can really start seeing what makes this thing so special. This thing only weighs 2.5 pounds, okay? Like this right here. That's how much you can fit in your pack. Really doesn't weigh that much. If you come over to the ninja bow, also 2.5 pounds. But if you come down to the bow we're using, it weighs four pounds plus two more pounds for the range finding side. So you're literally going from six pounds to 2.5 pounds. Long story short, you can just throw the cheap bow in your backpack, not even know it's there, and have the ability to take out a lot of animals really quietly. That's a pretty big deal. And another thing with the cheap bow, you actually have the opportunity to pull out 700 grain arrows, which are capable of killing the biggest animals in the game, just like these water buffaloes that we're gonna go try to find right now. Now to hunt these things down, I've actually came to one of their nice feeding zones, set me up a blind, and I'm just gonna sit here and wait until they come out here to feed. And then if everything works out good, I'll just be able to pop up Boom, right on top of them. And I think since I'm in the blind, I don't think they're gonna be able to kill me because these guys, if you shoot them, they're not happy about it. Oh, your stinky comes one right now. Speaking of him, is he aggressive? He is aggressive. He's already trying to kill me. He's already trying to kill me. Hurry, buddy, reload, reload. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you see that out of nowhere? Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Reload, dude. Why is my guy not reloading my his bow? I hit him. I don't know if he's coming back around or not. He is. He sure is. Yep. Oh my gosh. Reload your bow. Why am I having to tell this guy to reload? All right, here we go. This is the one that's going to end him. Oh, that went deep. That was good. Here's another one for you, though. We're going to wait until he wants to come back and charge again. Oh, I shot my thing. He's done for. Dead. Just like that. Just like that. Good thing about these arrows, though, if you buy the right ones, boop. You just pick them up. Here's another one of my arrows. Then as for him, what was he, a bronze? I hit him with one shot straight through everything. Pretty good shot. Click right here if you wanna see cheap versus expensive animals in the game or right here for a cheap versus expensive loadout. 